So, let's take a look who, who I think is Arsenal's most improved player this season under Unai Emery in his first season and who has also been our biggest flop, our biggest waste of space this season. Um, obviously, that doesn't include the new players that we signed. I don't think that it's, um, it's fair to put them in the flop category because I think they've done pretty well, all of them. Um, the only one who's not lived up to expectations could maybe only be Licksteiner, or I think the rest of them have all done really well. And they've all pretty much hit the ground running other than Licksteiner. Obviously, Leno's in goal. He's now number one. He's proved that all season now. Lucas Torreira, yes, he's burnt out, phased out a little bit the last few months, but maybe that's just the sheer volume of games and the intensity in which he plays. Then Matteo Genduzzi, he has been so good this season. It has been unbelievable. Somebody so young, I know he's got flaws in his game and um, he'll only get better. And he's been fantastic. He's been a joy to watch and he's really, really impressed me this season. And then Socrates, another one. He's come in, hit the ground running and he has been exactly what we've missed in that centre-back spot. If we had two of him in defence, we'd defend a whole lot better, that is for sure. But anyway, before I get into my... Most improved player of the season. Don't forget, stick a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn the notification bell on as well. I'll be dropping my last of 10 players I would replace later tonight at 9pm. Also, yesterday I dropped three videos. I did player of the season, in my opinion. I also did player number eight and player number nine that I'd replace. So if you haven't already, go and check them out. Let me know your thoughts on that. And let's get into it. Um, this was quite a tough decision because there's been so many players this season that have actually played so much better than last season. Um, Rob Holden, he, he pinned down a spot in the team for the first time really in his Arsenal career. He was playing a, a long run of games before he got that nasty injury and he looked absolutely class at centre-back. Um, obviously Hector Bellerin and then if you go into the midfield as well, um, Granit Xhaka. He was an absolute liability last season. Um, still, for me, not great. Um, I think that he gives the ball away way too easy. I think that he's had more errors than any outfield player this season in our team that have led to goals. And yes, he's impressed in terms of he's played better than last season. But for me, I don't think he is... He ain't really got the X factor, if that makes sense. He doesn't... He doesn't get me off my seat. He doesn't think, wow, okay, cool. You know, like, yeah, he's been better this season, but he still ain't, for me, a £35 million footballer. I just don't get it. Um, but that's not doing him a disservice. I think he has played well in, in fits and bursts this season, but I don't think he's been our most improved player. Lacazette, Aubameyang, we know what they were about anyway. They were both good um, last season. So for me, this season, I think our most improved player is Alex Awobi. Um, this guy has gone from being booed, racially abused, um, dogs abuse at football matches. Some of the crap I hear at games that he gets towards him is just disgusting and vile. But this season, he seems to have trimmed down a little bit in terms of um, he doesn't look as heavy. He looks a little bit trimmer. He looks like he's built a bit of muscle up. And all of a sudden... He's now being cheered as he comes onto the pitch. He's getting a big cheer from the crowd. The crowd now expect him to do something every time he gets the ball. Whereas last season, it was, oh, Alex Awobi's in the starting 11. Oh, we're ruined today. Oh, Alex Awobi's coming on. Don't expect us to do anything. Whereas now, every time the kid gets the ball, there's a, an air of anticipation in the crowd at the Emirates. And it's like, we now expect him to do something. And although he's not the finished article, and I know he gives the ball away a hell of a lot, his decision making is not fantastic. To go from being booed, abused and racially abused, which he was against Man City last season when we played him at the Emirates. I was there for that game. The, sh the stuff, seriously, the stuff that people were saying to him was vile. And to turn that around is testament to him, the manager, all the coaching staff. And all the players around him as well. You know, the guy signed a new contract at the start of the season as well. And if you go and read some of the comments on the tweet that Arsenal put out, it is just embarrassing, some of our fans. Seriously, they are just a joker. Like, leaving comments like that you know he's going to read. It's just wrong. But for me, I think he has been absolutely fantastic this season. I think that he's really stepped up. Um, this season, he's played 27 league games as well, which is the, the most he's played in the season. 
Um, he scored three goals in the league, five assists, and in all competitions, he has scored five goals, seven assists. So that means for me that that is his uh, best return. Yes, he's played more games, but I think it's not so much the fact that he's quick, he's tricky. He actually defends as well. He tracks back his work rate and his willingness to work for the team. You know, whether he's on the left wing, the right wing, whether he's gone right wing back at times, left wing back. So for me, I think he's been fantastic. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that and other people will be picking out Xhaka and players like that. But to go from how it was with him to how it is with him now, I think that's a massive turnaround. And I think that the fact that Unai Emery picks him pretty much week in, week out now shows that he's got faith in him and he believes that he is a vital point in our team now as well. So... You know, he was in and out of the team. He was coming on as a sub here and there. But now he is a main player for our team. And he's still only a kid as well. He's only 23 years old. That's still young in terms of footballing age. And he's only going to get better. So that's my most improved player of the season. So let me know what you guys think. Leave it all in the comments section down there because I'd like to hear what you guys think. Um, obviously, it's only my opinion. You guys, like I said, might have a different opinion, different players you want to put in there. So leave it all in the comments section. Now on to my... Biggest flop of the season. Now, this one was also a hard one as well because there's a couple of candidates for this. Um, I could have gone with the obvious choice, which was Mesut Ozil. Um, I could have gone with him. We all know how much money he gets paid every week. Um, he played the first two games of the season. He was asked to step up his work rate after the first game. He was then substituted after the worst game he's probably ever had for Arsenal against Chelsea away. And then there was the whole hoo-ha about did he have a bust-up, didn't he have a bust-up before the West Ham game, which he weren't even in the squad for. And he's been in and out of squads all season. But he's not the biggest flop for me. Um, I think the biggest flop is Mustafi. I think that this guy, I didn't think he could get any worse than he had last season. I bet he has. The guy is an absolute liability of a defender whether he's at left back, right back, centre back, he should not be on that pitch. He should not be at Arsenal Football Club. He shouldn't even be in the Premier League. He is not good enough to play Premier League football. How the guy is a World Cup winner is just a miracle and he should be grateful every day to his teammates because he ain't even good enough to play Premier League, let alone international football. So for me, I thought this season, I expected him to step up a little bit. If we look at Koscielny on the opposite side of it, Koscielny's come back from a mad injury. Um, again, you know, he's stepped up. He's come in, he's looked good. He's looked really good. Socrates, I know I said about new signings, but he's come in, he's never played in this league before. He looks so much better than Mustafi. Even Rob Holding, another one. I, I just think that this guy, <laughs> he should count his blessings every single night when he goes to bed that he is playing for Arsenal Football Club and earning nearly £100,000 a week. It's a scandal if you think about it that he's actually getting this much money because he ain't even worth five grand a week because to me, he ain't a footballer. He's not good enough. Um, yeah, he may have got a little bit better to last season if, if you want to argue it, but I, I could sit there and say, well, hang on a minute, Fulham, Palace, you're giving away penalties left, right and centre, mate. Um, you don't track your runners. You've only got to look at the game in Dubai the other day where he's just thrown himself on the floor. He hasn't even attempted to go and make a tackle. He's just launched himself on the floor. Every time this guy steps on a football pitch, he thinks it's a water slide at the local swimming pool. He's going diving down there onto the floor, two feet, and it's like, what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? You are not good enough for this club. I want him gone in the summer, and hopefully somebody stupid is out there ready and willing to come and pay for Mustafi and take him off of our hands because is an absolute liability and I've watched Arsenal for 30 odd years. This guy, and we've had some shocking centre-backs, this guy is the worst centre-back I have ever seen at Arsenal Football Club and that's worse than Segan, Stepanovs, um, anyone else you want to list, Silvestra, anyone else. But I personally think he is the worst we've had. But that's just my opinion. You, you guys might differ. Who's your flop of the season? Um, is it Ozil? Let me know. Is it Mustafi? Let me know. Um, don't forget, stick the bell on. And keep your eyes peeled for my video tonight, the 10th player that I would replace in the summer. And um, yeah, until 9 o'clock tonight, I'll see you all later. I'm out of here, peeps.